Video files can be massive, which means it can take a long time to upload them and share them to social media platforms, and it can put a lot of stress on your bandwidth. Large files can also chew up valuable space in systems like Google Drive, the cloud, or Vimeo if you're working with limited storage capacity. In this video, we're going to look at how to use a program called Handbrake to compress your video files without losing quality. Welcome back to another video training episode. My name is Rachel and I'm here to explain all the technical stuff so you can get your message out into the world using video. Make sure you subscribe for more video tips and techniques just like this. And now let's get into it. Handbrake should only be used for finished video exports on your computer when you're ready for upload. Video files recorded and edited on your phone are already quite compressed and suitable for sharing on social media platforms. For this tutorial, I'm focusing on using Handbrake for Mac, but the processes are almost identical for Windows. So let's go step by step through the standard settings I use to compress all of my videos. You can download and install Handbrake from handbrake.fr, which I've linked in the description below. Once it's been downloaded and installed, open Handbrake from the Applications or Programs folder on your computer. A file browser window should automatically open when you launch the program for you to select your source video file that you'd like to compress. If not, click the Open Source button and select the video file you want to compress. First, rename your video file in the Save As section. A process I have in my workflow is to name all of my initial uncompressed video exports with underscore raw on the end and remove the underscore raw for the final compressed version so I don't overwrite the original. Choose where you want to save your video by clicking browse and selecting a destination. Make sure the format is an MP4 file, which is the most easy to read and accessible file type for most platforms and also select Web Optimized. Jump over to the dimensions and make sure they match your source file so there won't be any cropping of your video. Click over to the Video tab and make sure H.264 is selected in the video encoder and the frame rate is same as source, so it always matches the frame rate of your original source file. Select the audio tab and make sure your audio bitrate is on the highest setting. Now we're ready to hit start. Handbrake will alert you with this cute dialog box when your video is ready and you can easily navigate to where your video is saved by hitting show. We can compare the file size of these two videos to see there is a significant difference in the final size. Some videos can compress even smaller depending on how much information is in your video. Watch it back to make sure there are no problems and then you're ready for upload. Some final tips. If you're happy with the settings you're using, you can save a preset by clicking the plus sign and adding a title and description for these settings. You can also queue multiple videos for compression while another video is already being processed by opening a new source, checking the settings are correct and hitting add to queue. You can open the queue window up here to watch the status of all your videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and leave your questions in the comments below so I can answer them for you. Hit subscribe for more video tips and techniques and I will see you next time.